Uh, Sarah is a consistently good player, and we've seen Savage improve and improve and improve. And this eight nine match uh, is really feels it feels like a big game. It, it really does. Looking at um, looking at the qualifiers, they are dead even when it comes to clear rates. So this is really going to be the ultimate coin toss matchup. So the hype is legit. But, but let's talk about right now our one and our sixteen seed. Packy is ready. We're waiting on a ready from Swang Strong. Uh, they're ready. Don't forget to give them follows on their respective Twitches as well. As we've got players set to level six. All right, and we are ready to go in three, two, one, go! Off we go. The first of five first round matches uh, to get through today. Uh, these are blinking, you'll miss it. And the, the, uh, Packy already off to a good start, already playing some tuck games, uh, and has a really kind of fractured board. Uh, meanwhile, Swankstrong's board, uh, once he can kind of clear out a row and he has them there, uh, he'll open up his board to really start doing some damage. Yeah, and I can, you can kind of tell Swank's playing a little more aggressively. He is playing on medium, but I think looking looking at the, the way that his style of play is probably the better choice, because he, he's getting a lot more time to get some extra agility in to kind of get those extra tucks, and we've we were kind of discussing that on my gameplay too. It's like it seems to be the better the better choice uh, if if you need to get some improvement. Medium gives you definitely a little bit more control, and the, the pills enter the uh, bottle at the same speed as they do on high. It's just that their fall rate's just uh, I believe three to four notches slower. So it is it is helpful for pre planning. Uh, looking at the boards here, uh, Swang Strong's really gotten hung up on his left side. I was really trying to force a couple of possible double plays. Uh, meanwhile, one virus to go for Packy with a minute and 14 seconds. He's out. Oh my god, he, that is incredible! Swung, yeah, Swung's having a little trouble trying to do something with that bottom row of viruses. And it's always rough when when you're in this situation, especially when you have a double buried at the bottom like that, um, and especially in that corner where you really only have access to one. You, you're really going to have to uh, play a good vertical game uh, just to keep that garbage tidy. But that double red, a big help uh, as Swang Strong now down to one virus to go. Uh, Packy having some early troubles on seven uh, with some garbage up towards the top of his board in uh, call of the six, but he's managed to turn it into something good. Uh, he's down to 21 viruses. Yeah, it uh, looks like Swang is getting just out at about 158. So he's he's... Falling behind a little bit, but if he can keep his aggression up, he can probably hold his own. He absolutely can, and Packy again kind of has that scatter board a where drop. a big misdrop. Not not anything he can't deal with, uh, and I think he's just trying to do his best to work around it. But uh, really want to try to address it as quickly as you can with it being as high up on the board as it is. I'm wondering what Swang's trying to work on here. And I know he's trying to clear that junk, but it looks like he's looks like he's building something here in the center. I think he was just trying to get some garbage down, and he cleared something out in column one. That was a smart play. Uh, he's and now he can basically clear that garbage out at his leisure. Uh, but he's mm -hmm. going to want to focus on it soon because you don't want to have drop time from that high up. Yeah, Packy had to deal with a little bit of a drop with the double yellow there in this tuck game. Uh, but the double yellow is going to work in his favor. He's out at three minutes. Even even at a 259, so Packy really uh, playing hard here, uh, slowing down a little bit, uh, but he's definitely the, these later levels are where he really shines. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of those. Um, I mean, looking at the pace that Packy's doing, like he is looking to reassert himself in the top of the hot time chart. Looked like Swan was trying to get a tuck underneath of that double blue. It didn't hit. Got the vertical clear he needed there. Hacky, though, ha having to deal with some blue junk. It's looking like he's setting up... A, yeah, set, looks like Hacky set up a little bit of a tree. Start right there. Uh, Swan is going to get out at 350. He's still only about 16 viruses behind. He can still catch up. Definitely doable if he gets the right RNG, and he's got some very uh, double-friendly plays, especially in columns one and two uh, with those blues. 
and now also with the Reds uh, in column number four. Uh, meanwhile, Packy, 14 viruses to go here, uh, and you're seeing him eyeballing some double plays. And I think he's going to be holding out for a blue-red. Uh, nope, just just drops the uh, double-red horizontally. Always a good play, too, just to get a little bit of a same-color garbage down. Six viruses to go for Packy at a 4-minute and 30-second pace right now. Doing an amazing job with it right now. And having to deal with a little bit of trouble there at the top. But he's going to clear out the garbage. And, uh, yeah, I think I think he's going to wait for a red-yellow here. Interesting oh, no. play there. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's going to drop okay. that blue down and clear down. and excellent Nicely done. There. And a 4.54. 4.54. Four, 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 four minutes, 58 seconds on the clock right now for Packy on nine. Uh, as Swang Strong uh, getting good, getting a good end game here uh, on eight. Uh, Ooh, it looked like he overtuck that last piece, that blue, that blue red. It did look like he did overtuck that just a touch. Uh, but he's got a great triple opportunity if he sees it. I don't think he does. And now Hold I on, I think he does. And there, there it is. goes. Big combo, excellent combo play right there by Swang Strong. And you know, in watching his qualifiers, you you see just little bursts of, of you know great little pocket combos. And I, I when you see things like that, that shows promise, that shows confidence, uh, and. You know, you'll get consistency with those, uh, you know, directional uh, drops right there going vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical. So excellent work here by Swong Strong. Uh, but Packy at 19 viruses here on nine. Swong just looking to get to nine right now. Needs some reds, not getting them. Really rough RNG. Uh, chat hoping for reds as well. And there's yep, there the reds out at 606. But definitely behind the eight ball going into nine. Yeah, uh, looks like Packy's got got a nice, uh, comfortable lead here. Uh, not going to get the sub five, the sub six he was looking for. <laughs> sub five? What am I thinking? <laughs> uh, but he's he is going to put up a pretty good time here. Uh, but, but at the very least, Swan is still holding his own against Packy at the moment. Uh, he could, I would not be surprised if he gets down into about a dozen or so by the time Packy's done. Packy is going to have to come up with some creative plays as he lightning rods some garbage in that one uh, red virus. He's down to five to go. He will be down to four at the sub seven minute mark. Yeah, Swan getting a little hesitant on his placements, too. That's. Oh, wow. What a combo there from Packy. Packy down to one, and it's a good effort here, but it is at a 709, 710. Uh, Packy taking game number one. And it looked like, uh, yeah, Swan had about 20 viruses to go af uh, after that. So it was not not a bad showing there from Swan Strong. It, not, not bad at all. Swan was making some really good strong plays. Uh, you know, just a little bit of struggles in the garbage management department. We've all been there, so, you know, yeah. no, no big deal there. Uh, but, you know, it's just one of those, uh, hey, uh, I hung in there. And it looks like he's going to try to run this one out. Um, he's not. He's, he doesn't have that far left. He can definitely play it out. Yeah. 16, if, any, if anything, he, he might be able to pull off a good eight-minute time. If, if we've seen anything, especially from this week so far, it's the fact that a double-digit seed is not a death sentence. Uh, we, we see, we've seen, we saw a 13 seed win. Uh, and, you know, there's, there's prime opportunities here for other double-digit seeds uh, to pull off an upset today. Absolutely. And looks like he just needs a couple more yellows and reds. That's a nice piece to have. Then one more. He'll get it. And he's done it at 8.15. So only about a minute behind. <laughs> Swan so, so gives us a nice little wave. <laughs> and he's out at 8.15. He'll be down 1 nil to Packy, but there's still a lot of game left. Yeah, still plenty of games to go. Uh, just got to shake off that one. Start anew and see if you can keep that pace going up for uh, for your next game. We're just topping it out here real quick and then getting ready to go. And we've got readies from Packy and a ready from Swong. I think we're ready to go for game number two. We have readies from both players. 
game two here, Swang Strong, the 16 seed versus the top seed Packy. And and we we said it before, but especially throughout the month of January as well, uh, Packy's just been playing on another level, uh, setting PPs in uh, I believe zero to ten and zero to twenty. Yeah, he's been on on another planet in terms of his gameplay. It's been amazing to see. But we we've also seen Swang Strong. Uh, there, there's been a little friendly banter between Swang Swang and a couple of players uh, regarding a zero to twenty PB. So it's always nice to see that friendly competition in our Discord. Absolutely. Uh, open to players of all skill levels. Uh, we'll get you a link here real soon. Open to all. Even I can play. <laughs> all right, looking at the board. Oh, I like this vertical, this horizontal combo setup there from Swan. He's keeping himself in the game. Packy, though, he's down to seven already. And but Swan's having a little problem. trouble with yellow. Swan's big problem is... Uh, just a high concentration of viruses in that lower quadrant, that lower left-hand quadrant. Mm -hmm. uh, it really makes planning difficult. Uh, it can make endgame strats easy as Packy out at a minute and three. Uh, but I really, I really like what he's doing here. He's not doing anything wrong per se. No, he's not doing anything wrong at all. He's making good plays. He's making good decisions. Yeah, it's just everything's just not not lining up properly. He gets yeah, another I mean, player there. It's it's looking like he's going to be flirting with uh, a minute thirty, which in all all real uh, in all realness is an excellent time. And Absolutely. Anything below, any, you're looking for anything below one forty for, to be a decent time on six, and then you want to add about maybe ten to fifteen seconds per uh, on each level. So th those those are optimal times. Obviously, anything below that is great, uh, but you want to be shooting for you know those par times at the very least. As Packy already down to thirteen, but starting to encounter a red heavy board, Ethan. Yeah, he's having to really focus on getting rid of the reds on top of the board. Uh, he is making he is setting up for future plays already, and he's getting some reds, but not anything else. Oh, and he gets a nice little tuck there too to boot. Nicely done. I think Swong also holding out for that. There it is, that yellow red uh, to try to clear some garbage. A risky play that high up, but it seems to have paid off. Yeah, it was a good payoff there. But it see, I, it seemed like it maybe wa uh, maybe wasted a few more seconds than it needed to. I don't, I mean, it was it was a nice play. Don't get me wrong, but just I'm I'm a little worried that he, when he goes for these plays, he's delaying. He's delaying. He's delaying his virus clears, and he might be missing up on um, better opportunities. Well, the thing is, it's your first bracket, and I, I always give people the advice of just play the game. I was I was screaming that to myself last night. Just play the game. Mm -hmm. uh, don't don't worry about anything else. Uh, and I mean, obviously, you do want to play for speed, but I mean, every player uh, at any level is going to have some level of hesitation. Um, you know, some players just might not think something's a good play quite yet. That's, that's that is a fair play, fair, fair assessment to make. <laughs> As we uh, have Packy in level eight right now, uh, just over three minutes and twenty seconds into his run, uh, looks like Swong is just needing to get a couple more reds. Uh, but he still has that red over there in the bottom corner. He's got to watch out for. And, he's our, and he sees it. He's going to work on it. Just needs to get the right color pieces. That'll do it. Packy All right, he'll be out uh, of seven. Packy playing a very yellow heavy board right now. Uh, just trying to get some stuff to drop. Not a lot of reds to speak of. Actually down to his final two reds, which are kind of tucked away. So red And here comes all the double reds. Oh, no. They say, they say that there are uh, three things that are certain in life: death taxes and Packy getting an un inappropriate string of uh, double reds. <laughs> Not wrong at all. And but Packy is almost done. He just has a couple more blues to get rid of. Well, that double blue is perfect. Packy and he'll be out, out at four twenty. As I'm sure the chat will be eating those jokes up. Let's take a look at the <laughs> board. Uh, 428 to go. Packy in nine, uh, right at our, starting now at the four minute 30 second mark. And Packy starting to build a big hero combo. I like this play. Whoa! Big cluster clear. 
absolute monster clear there by Packy, uh, playing absolutely out of his mind yet again. Uh, 31 viruses to go for uh, the one seed. Uh, meanwhile, the 16 seed swung strong, really hanging in there. 12 viruses to go, looking to looking to have a good end game setup here. It looks pretty good here. Um, covering up the last blue, though, that might be a bit concerning. Oh, and there's a bit of a mist drop there. It looks like he was trying to tuck, a, tuck that red underneath. It didn't work out. Package trying to get creative with uh, not getting any reds, and it looks like he's found some creativity. Uh, really just hard on that down press. That's that's how he plays. Mm-hmm. And it's looking pretty good. He's also uh, managing to avoid drop times, too, and that's a great way to keep the pace going. Down, already down to 19. 19 viruses to go, and I, I think a red surge is a, a matter of time at this point uh, for the for the one seed. Uh, Swong Strong, though, looking to get to nine at a good pace. Uh, just needs to clear two yellows. I don't know if I would have gone with that decision to clear that one horizontally first. And No, because yeah, he's going to cover it up. Swong, he knows Swong it, too. Realizes that, too late. Uh, and oh, now he missed he's dropped it. Drop. Oh, no, that's rough. Oh, no, he's tilting. Packy hitting the six-minute mark. Eight viruses to go. Uh, Swong Strong just trying to get out, out of this uh, situation, but he might oh, have. Oh, no. He has absolutely he buried, buried the pirates in the corner. Absolutely brutal for Swong. That is so unfortunate to see. He's going to have to do a lot of digging. I know our chat is cheering him on to get that last virus, but Packy looks like is going to be out at 624. 624. And he will take the sweep. Absolutely brutal burial on eight. Uh, yeah, that was strong. so... That was very like, hard to look when you, at. When, but you, when, you just see that garbage, when you see that garbage fall on that last virus, you just... All you can do is stare. Yeah. But I, I think I think the chat would agree. Swung strong with a great first showing. Otherwise, uh, absolutely his his first game was a great game. Uh, he you know he you know was only about a couple couple dozen viruses away from the one seed. That is nothing.